Hi dear students welcome to keep learning today we are doing the chapter force and pressure we have already done the part 1 uh, if you haven't seen it uh, i'll give the link in the cards uh, you can do it from there and today we are going to start part 2 which is pressure okay so let's start so let's talk about the definition first pressure is defined as the amount of force acting per unit area. What will be the mathematical expression then? Let's write it. Say pressure is denoted by P, force is denoted by F and unit area is denoted by A. So pressure is the force acting per unit area. Now this is the mathematical expression of pressure. Now we are going to practically understand this relation and before we do that let's talk about the units. What will be the pressure I mean what will be the unit of pressure? Let's talk about SI unit first. What will be the SI unit of pressure? So we can derive the unit from this equation so as you know the unit of force in si which is newton and area will be meter square so the unit of pressure in si si will become newton per meter square it's very easy in cgs we'll write newton as dyne in CGS and meter square will be centimeter square and for your information let me tell you something this Newton per meter square is termed as Pascal okay so Pascal is the SI unit of pressure and Pascal means Newton per meter square now this expression can also be written as P is equals to thrust per area now you'll ask me what is thrust thrust is nothing but the total amount of force acting on a surface okay the total amount of force is known as thrust as you have seen the equation of pressure is P equals to F by A I mean pressure equals to force per unit area and from this equation we can write if force is constant I mean if force is not changing then with the increasing area if area is increased pressure is decreased and if area is decreased then pressure will increase how we can prove that let me give you a practical example suppose we have a pen and as you can see if I talk about this if I talk about this surface I mean the tape it has less amount of area and it has and this side has more surface area so if I put it like this and if I press it from here if I'm giving force from this side then if I place it like this and if I give force from this side which one I mean in which case you will be more hard from this side right from this side when I give force from this side it will hurt you more why because it has less area now let me show you mathematically suppose in both the in both the cases when let's say uh, in the first case when the area is less okay when the area is less I mean when the area is less let's say the force is 5 Newton and the area is uh, let's say let's say the uh, force is 10 Newton and the area is let's say 1 meter square so pressure becomes for the first case P1 becomes 10 Newton per meter square now when the area increases like I'm talking about this backside 
and the force remains constant 10 Newton and when the area increases suppose the area is increased to 5 meter square now if you cancel this you get P2 is equals to 2 Newton per meter square so see when the force is constant and when the area is increased then pressure becomes less when the area is increased pressure becomes less that's why this side hurt you less and now let's see if the area is constant let's talk about the second case when the area is constant suppose for both the cases let's say area is 5 meter square and for this area is 5 meter square we have two cases okay let's say for the first case we have 10 Newton and for the second case let's say the force is 15 Newton so what will be the pressure for the first case when the area uh, when the force is 10 Newton 10 Newton by 5 meter square finally we have 2 Newton per meter square and P2 becomes 15 Newton by 5 meter square and finally we have 3 Newton per meter square see for both the cases area is same and only the force is increased and when the force is increased the pressure is increasing right so from here we can conclude that pressure is proportional to force and pressure is inversely proportional to area okay I hope you are liking the session guys let's talk about our next topic now let's talk about the applications of pressure so pressure needs to be increased I mean pressure needs to be either increased or decreased when we need to increase the pressure when we need to cut something okay so when you need to cut something we use knives blades scissors right and all of them have less surface area and as you know P equals to F by A or I have already told you that P is inversely proportional to area right that means when area is less pressure will be increased and whenever I mean whichever thing you want to cut you want to do it I mean you can do it easily and now if I talk about decreasing pressure like when you need to decrease pressure like if I talk about a high-rise building like if I draw a building a building is this and this is its base and if it is like this it will go into the ground right because the if the area is decreased then the pressure will be increased the pressure will increase so that's why we need more surface area in case of high-rise building to provide support okay now let's talk about the tires of heavy vehicles have more surface area why so that it can put less pressure on roads okay I hope you have uh, clearly understood the theory part of pressure so let's take a numerical example if you don't understand any part of the theory you can comment below okay so the numerical example this is the numerical example let's say uh, let's do this and it says a bronze statue weighs 4800 Newton and it exerts a pressure of 24,000 Pascal on the ground on which it stands find the area of its base so what's the pressure pressure is 24,000 Pascal and what is the amount of force which is 4,800 Newton as we know pressure equals to force per unit area and area is a suppose the area is a over here and we need to find the area so P equals to F by A and we can write A equals to F by P 
right? So what is the value of F? 4800 Newton. Let's write this. 4800. And what is the value of pressure? Which is 24,000 Pascal. 24,000, right? So Newton and Pascal, we can write Newton per meter square, right? And I will show you from pressure how we can derive the unit of area. So zero, 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 24, twos are 48, and we have 10, and two by 10 means we can write two by 10, we have two over here and 10 over here, and you can easily write 0 0.2 Newton, Newton canceled, and meter square will come on numerator so 0 0.2 meter square this is the area of the statue let's take the next example I mean the next numerical problem so this is another example another numerical problem and the problem says a tip of a drawing pin has an area of 0 0.01 millimeter square find the pressure exerted by it if a force of 20 kilonewton is applied look at the units guys 20 kilonewton force is equals to 20 kilonewton 20 kilonewton is to be converted into 20 newt i mean converted into newton that means 20 into 1000 newton from kilonewton to newton we need to multiply this with thousand okay now we have area which is 0 0.01 millimeter square we have to convert this into meter square how we can do this let me show you we know one millimeter is equals to one by thousand meter right now one millimeter square is equals to one by thousand square meter square finally it becomes one by one one two three four five six six zeros meter square but we have 0 0.01 millimeter square so let's say 0 0.01 millimeter square we have 0 0.01 0 0.01 by 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 and when we omit this zero we have another 100 meter square and finally it becomes and finally it becomes 1 by how many zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 meter square okay so 0 0.01 millimeter square is equals to 1 by this meter square okay or it can be written as 10 to the power minus 8 meter square no issues okay so right now this is it now we need to find out pressure what is going to be the amount of pressure let's see now pressure equals to as you know pressure equals to force per unit area what is the amount of force 20 kilonewton that means 20,000 newton that means 20,000 zero 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 and by this right by area one by this one by this right one by one two three four five six seven eight right 
now it's just a part of calculation how can we do this let's uh, erase this part so that we can calculate it over here so finally we get 20,000 into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So do I need to carry all the zeros? No. I can simply write 2 into, now let's count the zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That means 2 into 10 to the power 12 okay 2 into 10 to the power 12 what what is the unit of pressure Newton per meter square right Newton per meter square I know uh, some of you guys are having problem about this 10 to the power 12 let me simplify it for you suppose okay uh, you have understood this okay now let's talk about the 10 to the power 12 part let's take an example and let's erase this see 10 into 10 okay we have 100 or 10 into 10 can be written as 10 square that means when I write 2 over here that means after 1 we have two zeros that means when I write 10 cube that means 10 into 10 into 10 10 into 10 into 10 that means 1 2 3 10 to the power 3 means we have three zeros after one so when we write 10 to the power 12 like the this sum that means after one we'll write 12 zeros 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is it. So simple. If I write 10 to the power 4, that means after 1, it has 4 zeros. You can do it. 10 into 10 into 10 into 10. 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. 10 to the power 4 means 10,000. Okay. I hope you are enjoying the session. Let's take the next example. Now we have another numerical problem and the question says it's very easy guys. A motorcycle weighs 1200 Newton and let me tell you weight is equals to the force. Okay, so we can write F is equals to 1 2 double 0 Newton. If the pressure exerted by one of its tires is 120 Pascal that means pressure is equals to 120 Pascal okay find the area of the tire in contact with the road easy guys very easy p equals to f by a we can write a is equals to p by f so what is the value of p it's 120 pascal and what is the amount of force which is 1200 newton right so zero 0 cancelled 12 1 and 10 right so finally what do we have 1 by 10 that means 0 0.1 meter square is the area of the tire in contact with the road that's it guys it's very easy so this is the end of the video and in the next part we'll do more theories because uh, there are so many theories to study and we'll do more numerical problems based on the theories. So I'll soon upload the next part of force and pressure. So please wait guys and stay tuned. Thank you. This is Pritam Shah.